Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Entrepreneurial Truth Podcast. My guest this week is Marlon Hurd, and welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, it, 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 we, it took a minute. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. If they only knew what it took to get to this point right here. Hey, right. <laughs> we struggled a little bit, just a little bit. But this right. seems like it's, it's an ongoing thing. Like every week we have a little a difficulty of some sort. Now we come on and it's a great show. So let's, let's hope that's the same thing this week. I'm right. sure it's going to be. All right. First question. What mm -hmm. made you become an entrepreneur? What, what was the thing that, that lit that fire for you? Well, um, growing up in Youngstown, Ohio, uh, my mother started her business in our living room. Um, oh. back, back when, um, you know, nails and hair was starting to become popular for women. Like she would do nails and things in the house. And, um, I just saw, you know, I saw that process, her go get her license and, you know, but the, the main thing I saw is that she had time freedom, you know, and we, she was there when we left to school, she was there when we came home. I was like, man, I want to do, I want to do that. Then I watched her go from the living room to an actual salon. You into mm -hmm. an actual building. Now that didn't mm -hmm. last long, you know, especially where we were living. It just, you know, there were too many jealous people where we grew up in the inner city. And so it just didn't work, but I watched it happen. And so I was like, mm, I want to do that. And then at the age of 25, um, the world of network marketing found me. And when I found out it was, you know, you could be an entrepreneur in that and create your own schedule and have, I was like, I'm doing this. And that was, uh, 2002, uh, today this podcast 17 years ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. 17 years ago. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I mean, you got to see it firsthand, though. Mm -hmm. You got, and, and I, when you were speaking about inner city, I live there too. Mm -hmm. You know, I live in Egan Heights, Michigan. Okay. Um, and it's, is inner city <laughs> and people do get jealous. People do, you know, um, if people are trying to get out, basically mm -hmm. yep. they don't want to hold you back. And so it's like sometimes you got to be careful of who it is that you listen to, mm -hmm. who, who it is that you allow into your world, into your right. inner circle. Let's right. Say. Yeah. And so, so that, you know, I didn't realize it until, important. I didn't realize until we got older, you know, because all this happened when I was like in the sixth, seventh grade. You know, you don't understand. But as we got older and we heard the stories, it was just a lot of, you know, a lot of haters that did, she was just so successful what she was doing. And uh, it was just a lot of people who, oh, don't go to her salon because of this, that, and the third. And, mm -hmm. and you know, the, the clientele started doing it down, and then they had to close shop. But um, but I just watched it build from where she was up to that point. And when I found uh, Network Marketing in 2002, um, I was like, man, this is something that you can build. And everything I know today came from out of that industry. All the books I read, the mentors, the coaches, the programs, the mindset, all came out of Network Marketing. I believe everybody should join it. Um, just for that experience um, that you get, especially for those who are looking to become an entrepreneur. And, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's what made me want to get involved. That's what made me want to be, start my own business. That's, and that's a key thing too, is the training, mentorship, leadership, things like mm -hmm. that, that can be brought to you via network marketing. Um, there's different area, different ones out there that I mm -hmm. know of. Right. It, it's it is it, it's good training. It really it is. is. It helps to push you to be able to to um, get your word out, your message out there too. It Absolutely, you. man. You learn marketing. You learn you learn so much. You really yep. really. Okay, so I'm gonna switch gears just a little bit. <sighs> okay. I want to go into what blocks did you have on the way up? I mean, you discovered network marketing in 2002 mm -hmm. and took that. But what were some of the beliefs or limiting beliefs that you may have had or may have seen others have even? Okay. Um, well, with myself, um, I know in my household, money was never talked about mm. ever. I think I might have. The only thing my, my parents told me is like, save your money. Don't spend it all. Like, what does that mean? Um, so it was something that was never talked about, finances and things of that nature. Um, but it wasn't until maybe I was about 16 my dad started ordering Money Magazine. And I was like, I saw on the front money, you know? So I started reading those things. I was like, man, everything they talked about was business and investing. And nobody was talking about jobs. Um, <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> that stuck with me. Um, but when I got involved in, in network marketing, a lot of the blocks was that I just didn't know any successful people. 
because where I got started in Columbus, Ohio, there was nobody who was successful around us. So we had to like kind of figure it out. Um, and you, of course, you know, family and friends, what are you doing? You know, I was supposed to be the doctor and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't, you know, I, I just didn't want to go that path. So a lot of those blocks is that I just didn't know anybody successful until I went to my first event and I got a chance to see it with my own eyes. It was in, uh, it was at the, uh, the Riviera, the old Riviera in Las Vegas. And, uh, we didn't have a ticket, so we had to sneak in and, uh, <laughs> I had eighty dollars when I landed in Vegas, and wow. but I had a chance. I had a chance to see it, and I was like, "Whoa, man, this is incredible!" But still, I, inside, I didn't believe that I could reach those levels. I didn't believe. I just had a belief. You know, there was just no belief in me to say, "Man, will I be able to get on the stage like that?" So, just my belief of never having that kind of success is my first time doing this. Um, I only had like forty people on my team. And uh, it was thousands of people in there. I was like, these people got to be on somebody's team. But they're not on mine. And I went by myself. They said, don't ever go to an event by yourself. I went by myself. <laughs> and um, I was just like, how am I going to reach these levels? So that was my first block was just the belief in myself. And then I started reading books. Um, I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read mm -hmm. Think and Grow Rich. I read mm -hmm. a lot of John C. Maxwell books. I started listening to Jim Rohn. And then the belief was come. I was like, okay. And after that first event two years later i was walking the stage as an executive director in that particular company wow. and it all it all changed and so now i had opportunity to walk people through what i was going through you know but then with other people they were having you know deaths in their family they were losing their homes losing their cars but they were still pushing and i was like what would make somebody keep going and you just got kicked out of your house and it was that it was that ultimate goal, that that magnificent mm -hmm. obsession that they call it, magnificent obsession that mm -hmm. one day I'm going to be successful. And I took all of that. Even to this day, I take all of that in like, OK, um, but I've learned how to separate myself from everybody else's story. Like, Marta, this is your journey and not to compare myself with other individuals. So uh, that that but that first big block was belief. Now, today. And uh, I was having a, you know, I start to learn how to meditate, things that nature. Like one of my things right here, I have the five steps, five daily steps to fire your boss. And the first step says is to 10 minutes of visualization and meditation. Mm -hmm. So I do that. I just kind of like visualize and things come to me. So I was like, well, Marlon, what's blocking you now? I get panicky because I've had success before and I know I can get there again, but because I'm not there as fast as I thought I was going to be, I get panicky. And because mm. I get panicky, like, oh, my God, so, you know, I'm supposed to be here. I'm bringing, I'm repelling the success. So I figured that out through <laughs> meditating. Right. Like, okay, what is that? And as a model, you get panicky. So I'm, like, talking that energy away from me and mm -hmm. talking abundance and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So even with success and people who are successful, they still have these challenges that they have to fight every day. Um, to stay where they are, to get where they are. So anybody who's watching this and whether you've been successful or you're not, um, just know it's, it's a daily fight. It's every single day every of day. keeping those things away from you um, because once they enter your mind, your subconscious doesn't know the difference. Is it positive, negative, whatever it is you focus on, it's going to grow. So, um, and that's what I had to learn by myself. Like, yeah, Mo, you got a lot of experience, but there's still something there. What is that? And once I figure that out, now I'm repelling that energy and talk. Well, actually, bringing the right energy so that doesn't have an opportunity to, uh, to, to set you. ground. Yeah, yeah, set ground in my subconscious. Yeah. Yeah. There was a book that uh, one of my guests before, a friend of mine here too, is Andy, and he said, it's called The Slight Edge. I don't know okay. if you've ever heard of that. Yeah, I've and heard of that. Yeah, doing a little every day. Uh -huh. A little. So like if I ate a pizza today and you ate like a, you know chicken or something really good for you instead, now that day, it ain't going to make any difference. Right. But you go six months down the road, you continue with that same path. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? So, right. What right. <laughs> <laughs> so you doing your meditation every day. Mm -hmm. You do some reading every day. Mm -hmm. You fill yourself with good things, positive things, mm -hmm. repelling the negative things, continuing Absolutely. on that path every day. Because I've told people, I told this one guy, I, I'm, I'm a trainer at my job, but I was training him life. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I said, I want you to do this. I don't want you to win, you know, like a medal or, you know, be at the successful place right now. I want you to win today. Right. Just today. 
Just today. If you can win today, and then you can put it together and win tomorrow, and you win the next day, if you can win every single day, and what do I mean by that? I mean, if you can do all these positive things for your body, for your mind, for your spirit, for your business, every single day, that adds up. It does. That's up. It, it definitely does add up. I can see that in you. I can just see it <laughs> in you. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, 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 we, we, this is the first time we've talked. Just mm-hmm. being fully transparent. First time we've ever talked. First and time I, ever. Just, I feel that synergy, that energy between us. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do. I can feel it. So, okay. So you were talking about, um, <sighs> Ooh, I goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's right in the middle of the show too. It's all but, good, man. But yeah, you know, you you gotta have you gotta have uh, that ne- uh, blocking that negative out because you were talking about I've had success, I've done things, you know what I mean. But now I ain't quite done them yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I've got to get my mind right. I got to get my body right. I got to get mm-hmm. my spirit right so mm-hmm. that I can continue on this journey to become successful. Right, right. You know, I, I, people watch us. People watch this this podcast. They watch uh, how uh, us as people progress. Okay, so you got your people and they watch you. You know, even though they may be talking about you, they may be, you know, they may be negative about you or they're like, ah, oh, that ain't never going to work. But in right. the, back, the back of their mind, they're like, huh, if it does work. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want right. it. <laughs> so, but we don't know who watches us every right. day of our life. So that's very important to keep a positive attitude and try to keep that energy about you. You know, absolutely. Yeah. See that people gravitate towards that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we we're talking about um, beliefs. And stuff like that. Like you didn't believe that you could succeed or be up on that stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, What did you do to break through that? How how did that come about? Um, It was, um, and I have a whole bunch of these copies. As a matter of fact, hold on. Uh Is it close? Is it close to me? (laughs) Wait a minute. I sure do, baby. Um, This CD right here. Uh Oh. Building Your Network Marketing Business by Jim Rohn. Oh, okay. Okay. This, and when I found this, I said, I have to order a whole bunch of these just because. But I was on my way to give a presentation. At the time, I, I might have been 26 years old. And I was going to give a presentation to, at that time, older people, you know, like 40, 45. And, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Older people. Wait a second. I'm 50. I'm 42 now, so so it's like back, wait, old? No, I'm just, yeah. Back then it was, you know, I'm I'm a young man, so I'm like, what am I going to say to them? Right. You know, and it was one of my new recruits, and he said, I want you to come to Cleveland and talk to my family. I'm like, what am I going to say to these individuals who've been working all their lives? I'm, I'm and so I listened. It was a two hour drive from Columbus to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. I had this CD and I listened to it the whole way. I listened to it. I rolled back again. I listened to it again. And I just took some mental notes. My whole presentation was that CD. I didn't say anything about the business. <laughs> I might have said a few things about the product and what have you. I said that whole CD. And they were like, my. And then at the end, they we had about three people sign up as, 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 uh, no, we had three people sign up in the business and everybody signed up for the service. Wow. And, um, and one of the, the guys came up to me. He said, man, he said, I've never heard anybody, you know, a young person speak like that. And I was like, thanks, Jim Rome. So <laughs> for, for a whole year, for an entire year, this is the only thing that played in my car. I mm. listened to music. I didn't know who the newest, you know, song was. They said, Marty, did wow. you hear that new something? Did you watch that new movie? No. The only thing that played was this CD. If you got in my car, Jim Rohn. And every time I'd be Marty, you always got that CD playing. A whole I could say this CD verbatim. And that's the only thing I listened to. And, and and because that's the only thing I listen to, that belief of, you know, sowing and reaping and profits are better than wages and setting a better sale and, and uh, you know, the batting average, all of that just became. And so I was like, OK, if I just follow what this says and live that and then that's when I broke through. So at the end of my first year in that particular business, I had 97 people on my team. Because I was listening to this for a whole year, at the end of that second year, I had 1,100 and 43 people at the end of my second year. 
Whoa. At the end of my second year, because I was attracting the right individuals, and that's where that breakthrough happened because of that belief change I had. Um, just listening to this, the only thing that played in my car for a whole year. And it just, just you know, I, and I said, I'm just going to focus on this. And as a result, so by the time that we ended that, that run in that company, I had about 3,500 people in my organization. Wow. Um, and uh, so, I've, you know, it, I've been to that point. So now I'm like, and here's what happened. And if you're watching this, sometimes you can rest on your laurels, right? You're like, oh, yeah, I'm Marlon Hurd or I'm whoever and what have you. That does not work. Mm -mm. OK, you have to go to work again. So my mistake I made this first six months in this new company I'm in is that I was resting on my, my laurels. And so it, it took one of my mentors to say, Marlon, I know you've done well in this industry, but you have to go to work. And and when he said that, I was thinking to myself, I do have to go to work. So ever since I started going to work, everything began to change. You know, I, I'm watching it even just from today with the work I did today. You could see it happening, not just with me, but everyone around me because I was like, OK, well, now I have to go to work. Maybe not as hard because my mind is different, but the actual physical things that go with the mindset yes. is what I'm doing. So. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's, so this is a new breakthrough, right? This is my new breakthrough to get to that next level that I'm looking for. Um, and so it's, 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 it was humbling, very mm -hmm. humbling, you know, very, very, very humbling. When he looked me in my eyes, like, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> time to go to work, man. Time to go to work. <laughs> so, you know, I'm what, like, I'm like, there were some interesting things that you brought up and I'm going to hit on a couple of them. One okay. is. And this is my belief as well, that you are a mirror image of your business. Mm -hmm. Whatever is going on on the inside, that will be going on in your business. Absolutely. So that was one. The other thing was you said you attract a certain type of person. And I believe we all give out a vibration. Mm -hmm. I believe we all give out uh, what's inside of us. Right. You know? That either attracts a lower level, medium level, or high level people mm -hmm. into our life. Absolutely. Low level. What do I mean by low level? I, I want to clear that up because I don't want people thinking that we think we're better than anybody else. Because that's right, not right. what I. But I mean negative people, people that are always, you know, upset, complaining, this and that. You know, it, people to kind of bring you down, bring down your energy level. It's not that they're worse than anybody else. It's not. Right. They just haven't found their thing, and they haven't found their thing that raised them up, like you found. Right. You know? And so it, that, to, to me, that's a low level vibration, not a low level person. I, I, I think right. I said that incorrectly. But the higher your vibration is, the better, the more on fire you are for something, the more you believe in what you're doing, the more you're going to attract those right people into your business. It's like, wow, I know what he has because I feel that same thing inside of me. Right. And so that was that was something I, I, I loved it when you said that. <laughs> it was like, oh, he's so right on right there. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So you know, as of late, I've been, you know, looking more inside because, you know, everything you want is already in you. you yes. um, it's like with that statement that says we're all born to win, but conditioned to fail. So Ooh. we're all born with that. You know, we're all born with whatever we want. That purpose is just that that conditioning you know, somebody figured out that people are more powerful than they know they are. So they set these systems up to condition you to believe that these things aren't for you. And through that conditioning, and once it's set in place, now you condition your kids, you condition they, your grandkids. But, you know, the people who bust out, yep. you know, like, hey, we got to keep them quiet. But I'm like, mm -mm, I'm telling you, like, here's how this <laughs> works. But, yeah, I've been looking more in, you know, into myself and understanding, you know, hey, who is who was Marlon um, being authentically Marlon all the time. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, and then once mm -hmm. you start doing that, that power that you have is it just bursts away. People can see it and they can feel yep. it. And they, they, yep. what, what is that? Yep. And then before you know, like, hey, you know, I saw you on such as I saw you on YouTube. I saw you on Facebook. I saw you on the podcast. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? And I, whatever you're doing, I want to be a part of it. I have people, a lot of people who tell me that. I yep. don't know what you're doing. But I want to be a part I, of it. I get that too, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> like I said, we didn't know each other at all before today. Right. And it's like, so it, it is very difficult to explain to people how you could just recognize someone's soul. Right. 
all that distance away, never talked to them before, but you know exactly what they're talking about. Right. When I saw you post that, I was like, I'm going in. You know, I, I, and I, I was I like, said that too. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, we do interviews. Let's go. I'm, I was like, let's yep, do it. I'm, let's do it. Yep. <laughs> then we That's get to awesome, this man. point, and, and it's, uh, there's so much. People, people may be watching this and don't understand exactly what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this man right here, the one I'm interviewing right now. I've never talked to you before, but we're talking the same language. We mm-hmm. speak the same language. We know the same things. Mm-hmm. And so while he's getting excited on the inside, because I can see that. I can feel it. <laughs> while he's getting excited on the inside to tell you all about everything that is going on in his life and his journey and his things. My, my spirit, my insides are, are just screaming like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell everybody. <laughs> tell everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm just all giddy inside and, and stuff right, because right. Of that same that same thing that you're talking about and it's just funny with two different walks of life two you know two different areas don't know each other at all but yet we're bringing up the same exact things he was talking right. about conditioning and i'm telling you a school where you go to recess lunch recess it sounds like two breaks and a lunch to me, like a, like a job. Are you saying conditioning? Mm-hmm. You got 13 years of conditioning mm-hmm. to be yep. a worker. That's but when it. you get out of that, all you know is the eight hours and go home. Mm-hmm. That's all you know, or seven hours or whatever it is in school. That's all you right. know. So you right. go to get a job or you go to school to get a job because you don't know any other way. You don't know any other way. Mm-hmm. And and what Marlon is trying to tell everybody, I'm trying to tell everybody, there is another way. There, there is. is a better way. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's for everybody. You're because right. when, I've, when I've been interviewing people, I have noticed that it seems like some of us are just born that way. You know, I, I uh, Kelsey, I think it's the last two shows back. And she's like, I took my Easter candy and I started selling it. <laughs> Replenished <laughs> it and selling it. And I was doing that. Then she said it was a babysitting club and we did all this other stuff and we went to Michigan's Adventure, which is here uh, locally as an amusement park around here. And she's like, hey, we bought all these tickets because I sold all this stuff. And uh, <laughs> She's 22 years old with a master's degree. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Not using it, but like using her, her real gifts. Yeah, you know, no, I, it was business. No, she's yeah. using it. It's real. Okay, and I was I like, you, I oh, it, amazing people, you know. Right, right. And, and so it's like when, when you're talking and I'm feeling the same, you know, what we want to tell everybody, both of us, mm-hmm. is do not doubt that you can have a better life. That's what this show's all about. It's about mm-hmm. overcoming. It's about breaking down barriers. It's about learning the truth right the entrepreneurial truth that's what i called this podcast and the reason i said that is because it's not always easy it's not it's a struggle sometimes because the person we keep battling is that guy in the mirror or that lady in the mirror that's the, the person we're battling day in and day out our mindset our beliefs our our level of happiness even you know absolutely Pressure, um, i'll tell help. you I, i'll tell you about another breakthrough i had when um it's 2014 and uh, a friend of mine who I did business with maybe five years prior became one of the top five income earners in the world under the age of 30 in wow. five in five years. Wow. And it just so happens that his mentor is the owner of the company I'm in right now. Mm-hmm. So he came to Atlanta. We did a training. He said that he, it was finally his turn to train. He's like, I'm gonna get on the stage. He got on the stage, got everybody hyped. He said, I'm gonna give you the secret to 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 winning. You heard no pages. People open up to a new page. The whole crowd. <laughs> he said, I want you to, for the next 30 days, because it was like the, the next rank up. He said, whatever your next rank is, I want you to say you are that rank 100 times a day for 30 days. Mm. And that was his training. That he was said, it. That was it. He said, 98% of you are not going to do it because you, you, you just don't believe this is what my training was. I was I'm... I'm I'm such and such. I make this amount of money. I'm supposed to give you the secret sauce. He said, that's the secret sauce. Mm. So I left there that day. Like I got in the car. I sat there. I'm, 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 I'm pitching this in my head. I sat there. I said, okay, I'm going to do this. 
I'm going to do this. And so for a hundred, so I found an instrumental beat to one of my favorite rap songs. Oh, okay. And every day I would rap. I, what is it? Ruby. It was the next level. I am Ruby. And I would rap. I am Ruby every single day for 30 days, a hundred times a day. I would do it all day. Cause I was, I used to work for enterprise and because I was driving around all day anyway, I was every day, oh. every day, every day. All the time. Sometimes when people be in the car. I'm taking them back to get it. The- I'm, 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 they say, what are you doing? At the, now, I never hit Ruby because just that timing at the time I got in the company was a little too late. But everything shifted. Mm-hmm. I began to believe in the things I was saying. And so I would just look at things and be like, hey, you know, whatever it was, I would have to tell you, you got to move. You, you got to be replaced by this. And so my that, that belief part of the breakthrough was another part of belief that had a breakthrough. That was it. I was like, is it really that simple? So I called. I called him up. I said, I did it. And he said, well, what happened? I, he was like, well, he said, well, you, I said, oh, I didn't hit Ruby. He said, I, I knew I know you weren't going to hit Ruby. He said, but what really happened? I said, my belief level is through the up to the point now where. When I say something in a short period of time, things begin to happen. And he said, well, in the beginning, what's the first thing that happened in the beginning of the world? He said, in the beginning was the word. So every Mm -hmm. beginning, every genesis or every start starts with a set of words. So if you want something to happen, you start it with words. Every people think it starts with work, but it starts with words. Yeah. So I have everything up here, words, Mm. and then the words turn into, you know, the thoughts. And then, you know, we kind of went through the ladder. You know, information, information, it goes in, creates a new form, it creates a new action, information. Wow. The, inf- the information creates. I love that. The, be- the cre- information creates the belief, the belief creates the thoughts, and then the thoughts change the action, and the action changes oh. the lifestyle. So the information, the thoughts, and the belief is 99.9% of the process. Yes. Because those are things you can't see. You're like, you yes. can't see information, you can't see thoughts, you can't see belief. Then the action and the lifestyle is point one. So he says, spend all of your time in information, changing the beliefs, because the four, the three letter word inside of belief is lie. All right. So just tell yourself lies mm. is going to work. <laughs> mm. Tell yourself lies are going to work. And then that's going to change your thoughts. So I spend a, most of my time in that area. And before you know, the action change and the lifestyle. So you're watching this. That Those are those are some, some steps you can follow. So. That is that is amazing. I love that. <laughs> that is really good stuff. And, and if you feel like, because I didn't want you to stop there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, because it's such good information. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I mean, so so if 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 uh, if you got some on your heart, go with it. Go yeah, with it. absolutely, man, absolutely. So it's just it's um it's it's well here here okay here's another another struggle or challenge that I dealt with for a long time was people saying, well, you should be this by now, right? Ooh. Because of my time in involved, you know, my goal is literally, I've always had this goal and this vision of making a million dollars a month. That's mm-hmm. just period. Cause wow. I was at an event one time and they said, give yourself a goal that scares you. And I was mm-hmm. like, what would scare me? I was like a million dollars a month. <laughs> Scares me. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's always been just the goal. Like, I'm going to hit this goal. And, and so then another thing I was struggling with was, you know, after a certain period of time, people were like, well, you should be by now. And I and I'm thinking to myself, like, well, should I be? And and what happened was I got out of network marketing for four years. Mm-hmm. All right. To like this is 2019. So that about 2015. Maybe 2015, 2016, I took a break because I was letting that settle on me. Like, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I haven't reached these. So I started building my own brand. You know, that's where Marla heard the value that came from in the financial shepherd. And, and I got into other things like credit repair and stuff like that. But I missed network marketing. I really missed it. And because I was on, I was, I was letting those words of what well, you should be by now um, affect me, I got out. But I always wanted to go back. I was like, man, I'm not done with that yet. Like that part right. of me is not done. So I got a phone call February this year and it was a familiar voice. It was, a, here's another thing you all, when things come to you, it's not always going to come to you how to think it is. Absolutely. And, but, 
is going to come to you. So the person who called me was a person I would least thought would have called me because I used to be her mentor. And when she was involved in this particular company, she was like the worst network marketer in the world. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't recruit. She couldn't sell anything. And then she calls me. Mm -hmm. I was like, why is she? I was like, this is it. This is the phone call. I answered. She said, Marlon Heard. I was like, what's going on? I was like, what you doing calling me? Well, such and such has started his own company. I said, sign me up right now. I don't know <laughs> right what now. we're doing, but it is. This is it right now. And so after I got all of that, that, that dust off me, I was like, well, I'm going for it. I'm going for it again because this is that moment that I'm to reach that level that, that I've always wanted to reach and obtain and, and that, that I've, you know, kept me up at night and woke me up in the morning. This is the, this is that moment. And so I'm glad I said yes. But um, but yeah, it was one of those words. I was like, well, should I be that by now? And, you know, everybody equates the success with the time. Then I have another mentor. She teaches me a lot of online things. It took her 26 years to make her first six figures in network marketing. Hmm. I was like, 26? And the most money she's ever made was $20 because a friend of hers felt bad and bought a product from her. <laughs> and I was like, 26 years? She's like, 26 years to make my first six figures in network marketing. And I was like, what am I complaining about? Let's go. And now right. she's a multiple six-figure year in Um, yeah. But but yeah, it's one of those things Sorry. that I, I allowed me to, you know, kind of cloud my mind. But I was like, you know, it's going to happen when it happens. The thing about it, you just keep going for it and stay in the process. And when that moment comes, you take advantage of it all and, yep, and, and, and reach, reach that point. You, you got to take it. So that's just a, another yeah. share I want to share with you. I got to share this because I think you'll get something out of it. I really okay. do. Time is a okay. construct of, of man. Mm -hmm. So whatever time, time is irrelevant. And right. The reason that is is because you're only going to grow. As, you're not only going to grow in your business as you grow internally. And everybody grows at a different rate. Everybody so, does. So if anybody ever tells you that again, that you've been in this for so long, you should be here, you just tell them I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Mm. <laughs> I, I got a friend right now that, that tells me that all the time. Like, you see, it's like you're right where you're supposed to be. This is supposed to be yep. happening, right? Like, here's the yep. thing. This story has already been written. Yes. So you're right where you're supposed to be. Yes. Right. Whatever chapter this is, yeah. you on yeah. the right yep. page, you with that the right, right word, page. right yeah. now. So that don't paragraph. don't believe in the other stuff. Whatever that pair, yep. They're like, mm -hmm. you're right where you're supposed to be. I'm like, well, let's just keep going because and eventually the book will have to get to the finish. Yes. You yes. know, like, yes. you know, here's a book right here. There's there's a beginning, there's the yep. end. So eventually yep. you have to get to that last page of whatever that success thing that you that you think about and you speak about. Right. So yep, right. Man, and we put man, you, we put stuff like on the with with a child. Oh, they ain't walked yet. Mm -hmm. Or they ain't done this yet. Or they ain't talked yet. Well, Everyone is different. Everybody has a different pace and everybody has a different thing on the inside. It's nothing. It has nothing to do with time, but everything to do with development. And so, <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah. and, then, and then when you're developing as a fetus, you grow from the inside out. The first two, yes. days, seven weeks, hearts beat. Mm -hmm. From the inside, you're, you're, everything grows from the inside out so since yes. this, these are the last your fingers and your phalanges and the mm -hmm. even the brain is one of the last things to develop but the first thing that starts beating is the heart seven weeks in from the inside out and yep. damn made me think about this like if you're stuck in a cold your body will shunt all the blood to the internal to organs the internal organ. like yep. you can live without a hand you can live without a foot you can live without a leg yep. but you can't live without all of this in the in the inside so mm -hmm. uh man Ah, man, I, I, I need to hear that. I definitely need to hear that, man. I definitely need to hear that. <laughs> it's, thing, it's like we have never talked. <laughs> we've been friends for years or something because we're right. just like, <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> it's hard because it's like we're right in the middle of this show, and it's not just a show. That's the thing. You know, I almost don't want to call it that in a way. It, it's an experience, you know? It's an experience. Oh my gosh. It's it, it is an experience. It's like the first time you ride that roller coaster, you're like, whoa, oh, this is great. You'll never forget it. 
you know, I, you will never forget that moment. Like the first time you go to Disney, you said, man, this is like, we had Disney, man. Like, are you kidding me? And I didn't go to Disney. I was, I was grown. Like I was like a sophomore in college and I was still running around like a little kid. I had cotton candy all over my face and <laughs> chasing Mickey down. Like I need a picture, man. <laughs> but you know, that, that spirit though is what we use. I mean, I, I mean what we do in business, you know what I'm saying? All the excitement, the, the, you know, the love for it that we have. And, mm-hmm. and that's what it is. And it, I, you know, with entrepreneurs, they don't just love their own business and their own selves. It extends out to everyone else, you know? Everyone else. So I want that guy to have what I have. I want exactly. this person to have what I have. Absolutely. In, in every other business and every other thing I've seen, businesses are like, you know, there's competition. And I've mm-hmm. never believed, I've always right. believed in, you know, calibrate, you know, collaborating with people. Yeah, yeah. In, you know, synergy instead of. You know, oh, I don't want that person to succeed. Succeed. Oh, yeah, I want that person to succeed because if he can, I can. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's, this, it, there's a, whole, yeah, there's a whole, um, there's a whole energy around that. And if it, if if it all succeeds, you're like man, this person hit that level, or, or they, you know, they in, in their business, and because business has this certain business energy and this business vibration, well, that success is like okay, it works in business. Right. And that's what I'm in. And so I'm like, yes, that person won. So, you know, one thing I tell a lot of people who may be in other businesses that are kind of looking at what I'm doing I, and they tell me no more, I'm, I'm not interested. I say, cool, no problem. My wish for you is that you never have to look for another business opportunity to hit your to, hit, to get to become successful. Exactly. And I, I truly mean that. I've had a lot of people say, wow, like, you know, you're not going to chase me down. You're not going to, you know, hound me. Like, no, my, my goal is that you never have to look for anything else. So whatever you're doing, my wish for you is to succeed in, right. in that process because it's all the, the, the same thing. So, you know, you win and, and, you know, your podcast gets a million downloads. That's a business and it, it's yeah. working. And, and, and so, OK, well, I'm in business, too. So I know that, that process works in, in, in any business. So. Um, yeah, I, I, you never know what individual will be looking for, you know, Hey, I don't want to do what you do, but what I do can help what you do and what you do can help what I do. And let's, let's put it together. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Perfect. Let's make that happen. So yeah, let's make that happen. Let's and that's a, happen. that is the thing I, you know, actually there is a thing where business actually the, the term business and, mm-hmm. and to most people has a bad connotation. I don't mm-hmm. know if you realize you see that, but I do. I see it like, oh, that's uh, slimy and this and that and mm-hmm. whatever. You right. Know. Oh, it's just business. Everybody yeah. says. <laughs> I've ran into so many people that their business is love. I I swear to God that their business is just caring about others and trying to help others and give them a hand up from where they're at. And I see so many people just just going to help others you know yep i I, people people i've interviewed it's been a lot of a lot of that yeah because it's time for that all this crazy is going on it's time it It is is time for that stuff to start happening and you see it on a more regular basis those individuals who you know may not be a part about that they know they're losing the battle and uh, you see them, and they fight hard, but it's, it's, it's busting through. Man. It's like after it's raining, and that sun busted them clouds. You can't stop it. Um, <laughs> but I, you may be thinking about somebody. I know somebody whose business is people pay them to like just motivate them and just keep. That's all they do. Hey, I'm calling wow. you today to tell you X, Y, and Z, and you can do it. Don't have, and that's their business. They wow. hire this person. They everybody. They motivate. Everyone. So here's what I used to do for like three months. Um, people would pay me to be their three way call expert. So whatever mm. network marketing company they were in, I would learn a little bit about the company and then they would call me and I would be the expert that would do the three way call with the prospect to help the prospect get a bit. And they would pay me to be their three way call guy. Oh, I know, I, I know what you're talking about. So you have you have a person that's just in the business, and they got a prospect, somebody that, that uh, they think would be pretty good on their team. Yeah. And so they have they will have you call and and uh, try to help them understand better the opportunity so that they could take advantage of that. Yeah, I was doing that for three di- people in three different companies. Wow. And yeah, I want to introduce you to, and they gave me a title, whatever that title was, Marlon Hurd, and because I have been doing three ways for so long. 
you know, I would help that person make a decision to get involved in the business. And that person was keeping me on retainer to be their three-way call person. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. But it just got so I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it got overwhelming because one person told their team about me. And so out of nowhere, man, I had like 20 people have me on retainer and my phone never stopped ringing. Wow. So I was like, man, I had to, you know, I had to cut that off. But you can't so, do it. You can't be up 24 hours. Seven. Yeah, man. It, it was just like all the time. Like, Mr. Herb, Mr. Herb, Mr. Herb. But it was cool, you know, and, and, and you know, people were willing to pay for that, man. It was like $100 a month. Wow. Keep me on retainer, man. And so, um, but it just got, it just got too overwhelming. So I was like, man, I might be a business to turn into. You know, have this whole office of three-way calling people. <laughs> you yeah. need three ways? Yeah, oh, we you got know you. What? <laughs> I'm about to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> see how see how uh you know when you're speaking the, the 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 right information it just comes to you like okay what is that it's a so, master, it's a mastermind where you have two people that are two or more really that are together in one thought process that are, are really thinking the same thoughts all of a sudden all these new thoughts come into mind you know what I mean? Things that, hey, I didn't think of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, <laughs> that's just it. That's that's the energy, man. And so this is this is this is amazing. This is this has been probably by far the best podcast interview I've been. Matter of fact, it is the best podcast interview I've been been involved because really, of the really the language and in, in that we're having, man. This is this is awesome. And the energy, it, it's an energy between us right now. And people, I don't know if they can feel that out there. It's genuine because it's. I'm not surprised by it, but maybe just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of am. It was funny because the guy, I think it was the third or second episode I did, was, the name was Andy, and we went to uh, training together, right? And so we we're both sitting next to each other, writing down on a pad of paper, you know, and this guy's talking about something else. So we both write down the Pareti principle or the 80 20 rule, right? Right. He wasn't even saying that. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> looking at his looking at mine, I'm like oh no <laughs> so we talk all the time now <laughs> right right that's good that's going we're, we're so on a both in in our it was both just that that synergy I, it's the uh, only word I got to describe what yeah and, it, and that's right that's the correct word man that is the absolute correct word so yeah just right that's now awesome. I'm hyped up Mm -hmm. you know, I'm like on I'm a like level warm right way here. Up here. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> my back is warm. There. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, what else is there? Let's Absolutely, go. that's yeah. there right now. I want to get into something really, really important to me, and that's talking to the kids out there. Okay. I don't know how many kids we have watching, but uh -huh. if you had any advice for for our young people coming up, you know, either through the inner city or wherever that is watching this right now. And they're like, hmm, I like what they're talking about. I understand really what they're talking about. But mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give to that young person if you could have them right in front of you right now? Well, I'm about to have a Gary V moment. And right. uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, Gary V boy, you'd be like, man, listen, I'm about to I'm about to tackle this dump truck right now. Right. Uh, but uh <laughs> but one thing I would the advice for them is to like find find your own path. You know, if, um, you know, and, and no, no, no disrespect to your parents or what have you. I know they, they raise you, love you. But if there's something that you're passionate about, and you want to do, follow that path because you have to make that own way. And um, and don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to mess up. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to fall flat on your face and find someone that is where you want to be and go ask them, how can you help them? Don't ask them, can you help me? Mm -hmm. Ask them, how can I help you or mm -hmm. what can I do to help you? And what that's going to do is going to change the dynamic of that relationship because they're like, well, because most people are always asking them, hey, what can I do? What could you do for me? And I'm going to give you a prime example. My 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 mentor or my business partner in this business is a seven figure income earner in the business. Wow. So when he comes to the when we have a monthly meeting, I mean, a weekly meeting, when he comes in, I take his bag. I say, you know, your seat's there. Yeah. Oh, I set yes. everything up, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm serving his mm -hmm. process. And, and in that, and in that process, we had an event here at my house. He came, he drove all the way, Atlanta is big. He drove all the way out here to put that event on. And I knew mm -hmm. it was a result of me, you know, serving him. We come to, I, I grab his bag. He, he doesn't worry about anything. His water's there. So yeah. 
find somebody that you want to aspire to be like and ask how can you serve them and they'll it, it may be seem weird at first but that that relate and then they won't mind sharing with you those little nuggets i mean it, it, it could be the, the smallest thing but it'd be huge so that's my advice to young people today is whatever that you're passionate about follow it and you may not be that may not be it, it may be something else but something's going to lead you to it because listen you don't lose you the winner you learn you're either going to learn or you're going to win mm. and then you can take the lesson and then you you take that away and then you win here and that cool i'm a i'm a, I'm a compounder that there's a lesson to win a lesson to win a lesson to win a lesson to win all the way to where mm-hmm. that was that you want to to go and even when you get there don't stop right there's always something else yes right there's always another level there's the way another you say, okay in the back there's always is Oh, you turn around like, woo, I got to the top. And you turn around that, and then the next time is in, through the clouds. So yep, yep. whatever it is, even if you reach that, that point, you say, hey, I've always wanted to be here. Don't stop. Keep going. And then there's always something else until that last day that you're no longer here. Don't stop. And whatever is for you is for you. And don't worry about what anybody else is going to say. Don't worry about upsetting people. Go for it. Because yeah. people are going to talk about you whether you do something or not, whether you go for it or not. So you might as well go for it. Yep. And uh, and the reason people get upset is because they wish they had the courage to do those things as well, too. And they don't have the courage. So they get upset or they try to save you. Like, don't go down there. Oh. You're like, I'm, I'm jumping down the rabbit hole. Like, don't go down there. And they wow. love you. They're trying to save you mm. because they know there's hurt down there. It is. There's pain down there. There's tears down there. There's bumps and bruises down there. Mm. But it's all a lesson you know, in that process. So, so don't, don't be afraid to go there. It's a, it's a journey of self-realization is what I say. Yes, it is. Self is that self-acceptance, yeah. accepting yourself. Um, that's exactly what it is. We go through fire because we want to become better. We want to become mm-hmm. like iron. We want to become greater than what we are, you know, and, and that's the journey in itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, the entrepreneurial journey is, is it, like you said, a win and learn, a win and learn. And, and there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of bumps and bruises, but you don't develop your character until you go through things. You have to start, you you have start to. learning. You start learning how to respond to people. You start learning how to, oh, I did that wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you go back to like, right back so to, you go back to it. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you go back to it. And your path will never be straight. Never. Will never be straight. The one never. thing I really, really liked that I don't think I've heard before, and I and I really liked it, was you said that they, oh, I love you. I'm going to protect you from this. That's the truth. That's the truth. That is the, the absolute truth. truth. Like, don't do that. You know, I've had so many people yeah. who had opportunity to get involved in a great business and they go yeah. talk to their friends like, I wouldn't do that or this was happen. And, yeah. and it's just a natural thing because they don't I'm want that to person to go get hurt. Oh. Yep. So, oh, it's a scam. It's a pyramid, this or that, or they'll say this and that. And what's funny is you have people right in front of you, you know, in your, in, in, in within arm's reach of you that making seven figures mm-hmm. in, in this, in this, in this scam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the scam so you mean to tell i've seen it i've seen the checks right. i've seen the checks i've right. been on the jets i reached these levels and they invite me to come here i've yep. seen it so you mean to tell me they scammed them and it's still working it's still they're not in jail they ain't been prosecuted it's still working and every time they refresh their screen it's another dollar amount yep. but it's, it's it's a scam i had i'll never forget this one time man you know family member you know doing very well financially and i was like He's like, listen, no offense, I love you, but I'm working with people right now that's making your yearly income every 28 days. Yep. So I'm going to listen to what they're saying. And I'm still love you, but I'm going over here. Right? Yep. And they're like, no, don't but go down there. I think yeah. the difficult part is when you don't have it, mm-hmm. when you're not there yet, when you haven't yeah. earned anything yet. Right. Because there's something to be said for immediate like gratification, like mm-hmm. instant gratification like, i think people don't want to put in the work to get the paycheck later and that is the really tough part about like network marketing or owning your own business or something own like business, that. right you're doing you ain't getting paid right away you know you may have to do a side hustle you may have to do 
like a job. That's what I'm doing now. I work full time. Plus I do this. Plus, you mm-hmm. know, so I, I get pretty tired at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not going to quit because I know where I'm going. Right. You know, Absolutely. but when you're in that, when you're in that area, like, hey, you know, this bill really should be paid this month. <laughs> <laughs> you know let, what I let mean? Me- let me call, see if I can get an extra 30 days on that. But right, right. yeah, you know, it's, it's just those things that people aren't willing to go through, you know, and, right. and you hear these stories about these great individuals, even, even great sports people. And you hear this story and it's, there's always a common thread of yes. doing it anyway, yes. going there anyway. You know, the um, there's a guy on on uh, on Instagram. His name is David Goggins. Okay. He's he's like this ex military. He's like he used to be ex military. He, 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 he look him up. Woo, I will. This dude is a <laughs> he is a Terminator. I, I promise you, if his skin melted off, it'd be the Terminator machine <laughs> under him. <laughs> but his his message is so powerful, man. And he talked about when he was in the military, he had broken his leg, and in, mm-hmm. in order for him to get through a certain process, he he couldn't quit, so he duct taped his leg up, oh. and after a while, it, it went numb. Ouch. It went numb, so he's like, I couldn't feel it anyway. Oh and it, I mean, he's in, he's the, he does all these Iron Mans and climbing mountains and all, all kind of stuff. But he is, but the, the message is so powerful, and it's that that common thread. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going there anyway because if I stop because of you, right? And I, you're gonna forget about it. You're gonna forget about what you told me because you're like, okay, oh, I'm just trying to protect him, but. I will regret not going there. I will regret exactly. not taking that trip. I will regret exactly. not going to that training. And and I can't be upset with nobody but me because I listen to, you know, the non-factor instead of listening to the factor. So it's 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 um uh, it's just one of the things you just gotta just put the blinders on. And when you reach it, then you can help everybody. When you get right. there, right. then you can say, Okay, well, hey, what can I pay off or what do you need? Right? right. Even though they told you don't do it, even though they 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 clowned you, you mm-hmm. still love them. So you're like OK, here, here's this, here's that. But you know what that what that goal is, because, you know, yes. all the people around you that you love are, are going to benefit from it. So, yeah. And it's Absolutely. almost like, see, do, do you ever feel like you're taking everything on your shoulders for them? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's what I feel like. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm willing to put my face out there. I'm willing to to interview people. I don't even know. <laughs> which, which is awesome by the way right but you know what i'm saying I, i'm willing to just go out there and do because not only won't they do it they don't want me to do it either or some of them right. you know what i'm saying they don't want you to do it either but they ain't gonna do it and so when it comes down to it if you want to change your family tree and you want to change their lives too and bring people with you you have to do it first you gotta you you have to stick it out there man you, yeah you, yeah you, you have to so it's you, no you, you no go one first else is gonna do it. yeah uh-huh <laughs> You you go. It's like I, it, hey, it's funny because you're going through the fire, right? And you're trying to do this for them, and they're telling you not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, crazy. it says, but I know that most most of them don't understand. But yeah, yeah as long I, as I do, I'm keep it moving. It's kind of yeah, funny if you yeah. look at it that way. I just thought that was yeah. kind of comical. To be <laughs> so in our, in our podcast, and, and the thing that the, when I was developing this idea. I had this thing in my spirit about what's your story. And it's a really deep, deep thing. Instead of just like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur and this is how I did this and that's my story. What is the story that you tell yourself deep inside late at night? Uh-huh. Like, can I, I can do this or I can't do this. Uh-huh. You know, what is the story that you tell yourself, like the limiting beliefs and stuff like that? And then we encourage people to be able to change their story, rewrite the pages. That's what you were every, talking about the paragraph of the pages. Yeah. I'm like, ah, this is the same <laughs> thing that I'm talking about here. Absolutely. Absolutely. You could change that story at any time. Um, even Jim Rohn said, he said, you could make a change at any point in your life. You could do it from 14 to 60. You could do it from 50, you know, 65 to 67. You could change at any point. Yeah. In your life, I mean, think about the lady in uh, Wakanda. I mean, in uh, um, Black <laughs> Panther. Yeah, Black, Black Panther. Panther. That was Wakanda. Yep. You were right. Yep, yep. Yeah, but one of the, the the oldest lady you saw, and it was her first acting part at eighty or eighty something years old. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Man. Like, see, I um, didn't even know that. It was um, the oldest when oh, uh, yeah. if you if you look at the scene where T'Challa's in the in the in the uh, in the in the where the throne was. 
one of the advisors was a really, really older lady. Yeah. But it was her first acting scene at like 88 or something like that. Wow. Right. Oh, and so, so I was cool. like, what? And so, but <laughs> you got to think about it. She was like, hey, how long have I been looking to get here? And because of this one movie, yep. which gross billions of dollars, she's yep. going to pay for the rest of her, the grandkids, the great grandkids, the kids all the way down because yeah. she, she never gave up that on that thing. process. That one thing. Oh, wow. And I That's was like, so amazing. And that, oh that goes gosh. back to what we were talking about time. Like I said, time is a man-made thing. Right. Like you're so old or you're so much old years wise, but right. that's all we made that up mm -hmm. as human beings made up that, you know what yep. I'm saying? As in, you know, all this stuff and how we develop and what we develop on the inside. That doesn't have anything to do with time. At it all. has to do with us, with us and how we battle our own selves, exactly. how we look Absolutely. in the mirror and we say, you know what? I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to say this a hundred times. I'm going to wrap it a hundred times. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Because Absolutely. That's, because that's what I was told to do. That's how I'm going to break through. Mm -hmm. You know? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. This is outstanding. I, I, I do these... And I come into it not knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. That's the most that's the most exciting part. Like and this what, was, what am I gonna this, get today? This was amazing to me. I mean, this was <laughs> really deep. Really deep. I don't even know how long we've been talking. Uh, <laughs> and I, I don't, don't know. Care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea, man. This is yeah. this was this was supposed to happen, man. And, and when you talk about time not being relative. Because energy never dies. It does you not. know, everything is vibrating. Even the things right. that are still, you break it down to the minute, microscopic yep. level, yep. it's vibrating. It, it, everything has a, but, but the reason we can see it is because those vibrations have slowed down enough to manifest it. But things that we can't right. see yet is that they're vibrating very high. But yes. what we need to do is slow it down with our thoughts. And then as we slow that down, then it begins to manifest. But that same energy was energy. 20 billion years ago is right. that same energy that created all those things is here with us right now. It is. Same, it same is. exact. It has never died. Same energy. Same energy, same everything. Same. I tell you all the time, the same people, the same way we got rich in Rome back in that, those times is the same way they got rich today. Same principles. Same principles. Same laws. Richest same man in everything. Babylon. Richest man in Babylon. Yep. Oh, that's a great <laughs> book. Same it energy, same principles, same laws, everything work right now the today. The principles Everything's that are the in that book, yeah, 5,000 years ago or whatever. Same ones. It's the same, same ones that we're using today. Today, right? It's just that you haven't made that discovery yet or, you know, you haven't broke through that belief yet or wh whatever it may be. But the same way people are wealthy today is the same. It, it's all. It's, it's just a, that same energy. And so um, and I'm here to... To give it away, that's where the value there came from. I'm, I'm yep. gonna become a millionaire through giving value, and that's then true. I learned I learned my my leadership process is a, is that of a shepherd. I'm not like you know foot in the back leader, but I'm going to lead you through motivation and and just kind of guide you along. And so that's where those two those two terms came from. Um, uh, you oh, know, that's in, awesome. in, in my in my building process. So I'm the value and the financial freedom shepherd. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. Lead some more sheep. I'm telling yes. you, because yeah, we need over, more people to, yeah, to like, get okay, to this here, level. Yeah, absolutely. And, wow, there's so much good stuff that we've been talking about today. Um, I don't even know how to wrap it up, if we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to go. <laughs> and I'm the host. You know, I should know what I'm doing, you know, by now. But I, I kind of let it flow and see what happens. That's what you have to do. You just got to open the gates. Doing. Right. And and, so, you, and it, you would you would know if this one of those times where you have to cut it off because you're like, OK, this is like what, you know, it's great. But, you know, when you have something like this, you just you just, you know, just just let it flow until it, it, it empties. But I know we can't go all night, though. But no, I know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it has been amazing. Um, I think tell, if you want to tell everybody what you're doing now and, if mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and go into that, that's fine, too. Uh, let everybody okay. know what you're when and how they can get a hold of you and okay. that would be very beneficial for the listeners or watchers okay. cool 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 well um how you can get a hold of me i'm, I'm on facebook you can go 
uh, facebook.com backslash herds LLC. That's H U R D as in dog S as in Sam LLC. Also facebook.com backslash financial freedom shepherd. And it's just, just like that financial freedom shepherd. And if you want to take a look at what I'm doing as far as a business, you can go to 50 billion dollar project.com. That's five Oh five Oh billion dollar project.com. And uh, if you want those individuals who are looking for credit and financial, it's just Marlon Hurd, the credit guy. But that's what that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm talking about all that, especially on my Financial Freedom Shepherd uh, Facebook fan page. So you are doing amazing things, helping people out and giving them a hand up. Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it, it really, I do. You know, because there's so many people caught up in credit, you know, stuff like that and, mm-hmm. and having bad credit and people... <sighs> It's such a rough thing, man. We we have crises that happen in our lives. I went through a crisis, and mm-hmm. and I had uh, I have a kidney transplant. Okay, so wow. I was, on, I was on dialysis for three and a half years, mm-hmm. and so we we lost a lot of stuff during that that time period. And, and just people, things happen to them. Mm-hmm. So you know, if you have an issue or you have that type of problem, we got somebody right here that can help. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, I want to say in 2018, we ate. We helped like eight people be able to purchase their first home through helping wow. them with that through that credit process, and it was, it was amazing, man. You know, people texting me and say, "Hey, we just closed, or we just got our car," and it, it was just, you know, they say, like, "Thank you, man." You know, but I'm like, this is just part of what I do. This is part yes, of my process man. and my purpose. So I appreciate it, but I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and um, and, and of course I use their stories to kind of like you know show other individuals, but oh, of I enjoy it, man. This is this is this is what I'm supposed to be doing, and. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I like that. I like what you said. It says, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Because it's funny. I, I have this, too, where, where it's like, oh, no, this, this, is, this is you. This is what you should be doing. This is exactly what you should be doing. And I'm like, yeah. well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just little old me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's how you think. Like, that's, that's how like, you it's, feel. It's like, yeah, oh, I'm right. like, I'm not that's anybody right. special. I'm just, right. you know, right. I'm, I'm just, just I'm just me, right. you know? And so. Um, and when, when you keep it humble that way, it, it, it helps as well too. So it does. Okay. So, uh, one more thing I'm going to ask, um, mm-hmm. do you, what, what, um, advice would you give for someone entrepreneur wise? It's struggling. They haven't made anything yet. You know, they're struggling between, you know, going back to work and working on their business and stuff like mm-hmm. this. And they want it. They're at the point they kind of want to give up. I mean, right. they're at that row. Everybody's been there. Everybody's been mm-hmm. there. Like the bills are coming in. I'm working. I'm working like a dog, and then I'm trying to do this at the side, and it's a lot. Right. Like, what advice would you give to that person? Um, the best, the best thing I can tell them is that find out, find out why you started in the first place. You know, mm-hmm. and take the money out of it take the things out of it, take all the material aspects out of it. And what is it that felt inside of you that said, this is what I want to do. And that reason has to make you, you have to get emotional with it because thoughts mixed with an actual emotion is what's the most powerful vibration that you can send out. So the thoughts you have about this and the emotion that you have about it, when you send that out, it's, it's, it's more powerful than a satellite dish. So mm. find out why, find your why, find the reason why. And it, and it can't be money because money is, that's why they call it currency because it flows. Sometimes it flows to you, sometimes it flows away from you. That's why it's called currency. Mm. So it has to be bigger than money that's and cool. bigger than the car, bigger than the watch or the house or the clothes because all those things change. You know, right. the car in 2015 is outdated. Now mm. you got to get 19, right? So, mm. but your deepest desires they last forever and you know what that is you know what is tapping on you and saying hey hey i still need to be fulfilled when you discover that that is what that's that's your main focus that is your main focus every single time when things are good when things are bad when things are sideways i don't care what's going on you know you 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 know your your kids hate you you, you go through a divorce <laughs> and whatever it is right that thing still has to be fulfilled because that's the purpose. And that's okay. I got one more <laughs> because no, because what you said is like, don't focus on the money. Don't focus on, uh, focus on your why. I love that. I love that. I, I really do. 
But what about the person who's like, uh, kind of got to focus on the money? I have to because right. that's what I need to live, you know? I have right. to have that come in. I know people get stuck on this, and this is why I really wanted to hit home with it because there's people out there that's like, I want to, I want to do this full time. I want to do this, and uh, uh, you know, for a living. But when we dream build, and you, you know what that is, we right. go and look for the boats, and we look for the cars, and we look for the lifestyle, and we try to go test drive those cars and, and get it as real as we possibly can for ourselves. Right, right, right. uh huh. If if we if we are thinking of money, you know, why we're doing a business is because we want to be financially independent. How right. do they get that out of their head? when that was the driving principle in the first place to get to the why on how we stick to it until that happens. Well, if you're having income challenges, I would say go get a job because, right. you know, once you have those, you know, f- some of those financial woes out of the way, then you can focus on everything else. Um, that, that would be my, my, my biggest thing is that you just go find a, a, an income source, but you're, it's, it's temporary. You know, going into it, it's, it's a temporary thing. It's not something you have right. to do long term because right. you're building something right now in your mind. Eventually, it's going to manifest. But just get that pri- just get that out of the way. It's small, it's minuscule, but just get out of the way. You say, okay, at least this is being taken care of. I don't have to worry about it, and I can I can focus on that. All right, focus on on building. What I talk about, don't worry about the money. Is that don't make that the focus in building your business. All right, right. because right. If the money's not coming in through your business, you're going to think the business doesn't work. When oh, it does I work, right, you, you, you're going to think, okay, well, this isn't working because it's not bringing me what I need at the time or what I thought it was going to be. No, you're doing it exactly what you're supposed to be doing, right? You're supposed to have these ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs until, until it levels off. But I'm not saying, I'm saying I'm focused on the money in the business because um, I tell you all the time, marry the process, divorce the results. Mm. All right, so... Marry the marry, process. Marry the process. The marry the phone calls. Marry the reading. Marry the the follow up. Marry the presentation. Marry the you know if you're creating a product, putting a product together, but divorce the results because in the beginning the results are not always going to be what you want them to be. Okay, but just stay in the process. That ninety nine point nine percent, the information, the beliefs, the thoughts, information, beliefs, the thoughts, and the reason you're not where you are right now is because you just haven't learned something yet. Is it something that you're missing? And once that information is in there, the beliefs change the thoughts. And then, so yeah, marry the process and divorce the results. That's awesome. That's completely awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to wrap up. Um, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Hey, hey, I, I appreciate everybody. Uh, much success to you. This is Marla Hurd, the billionaire, financial freedom shepherd. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And hopefully we can, we can connect. But if not, uh, much success to you. Yep. We appreciate you, Marlon. And everybody, have a wonderful week. And we will see you next week with another episode of The Entrepreneurial Truth.